Today I want to discuss a theory that many are talking about online since the information from the tow truck driver came out. He said that he responded to a call where he saw a guy and girl in a car. Later on, he saw flyers with Kylie Rodney's picture on it and believed that was the same girl in the car. He wasn't sure it was Saturday the 6th August, but his girlfriend says it was Saturday since it was her dad's birthday and she definitely remembers that. Now, according to Jared from AWP, the male in the vehicle, who was wearing a San Francisco black cap with brown hair sticking out, was positively identified. The girl in the car, who the tow truck driver believes is Kylie, is still being looked into and information being gathered. It's not confirmed to be her yet, which raises even more questions. Who looks very similar to Kylie? I see a lot of you say Kate looks similar to her. Out of all the friends I've seen, Kate looks most similar. Look at them side by side. Could Kate have been mistaken for Kylie on that day the tow truck driver saw them? That's the theory going around. Some questions to consider though, if that was Jagger and Kate, like many are speculating, then do they have a vehicle similar to Kylie's? Or were they in Kylie's vehicle? But then where was Kylie? Was she being concealed somewhere in the vehicle? Is that why the two people were said to be acting nervously or distressed? Were they asking questions about the seatbelt in order to keep the attention away from something else in the vehicle? There is one other problem with the theory. If that was Kylie's car, how and when did it get into the water? The car with the two people were allegedly seen around 11 a.m. on Saturday. I'm still looking into it, but it seems that the first tweet about Kylie missing by the Placer County Sheriff's Office was at 5.47 p.m. on the 6th August, so we don't know exactly when she was reported missing and what time they went out to search for her at Placer Campgrounds. Anything could have happened between that gap of time. What do you think? The other possibility of course, is that these two people and the battery call have absolutely nothing to do with Kylie Rodney, and it's a totally separate incident, 